with the recent release of Ubuntu 18.10, I decided to check it out myself and I even installed it on one of my systems. Uh, and so basically this video won't just be a, a quick overview of the live ISO image, but it will be just my experience with it for the past day and uh, what I think about it and what kind of bugs I've been uh, seeing so far. So. With the installation, everything went smoothly. I was able to install the system uh, very quickly. Everything uh, was installed very quickly. It was very nice. Uh, and then I was greeted with this screen right here, except uh, the wallpaper. I had to manu manually change myself uh, to this new uh, wallpaper, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look here. So. The original wallpaper was still the Bionic Beaver, but uh, this one is called the Cosmic Cuttlefish or Cattlefish. I, I forgot. So, but yeah, so essentially everything looks pretty similar uh, as before. You have your menu here, and you have, um, oops, you basically have everything kind of looking very similar to what you're familiar with except that uh, let's say you open up your files uh, you can take a look at the new shell that it's using uh, and so right now I'm actually using a dark theme um, but the the win window border the title bar is essentially the same um, but I am using a dark theme here which we can take a look at GNOME tweaks uh, and keep in mind it does not come with GNOME tweaks by default so you're going to have to uh, install it by yourself um, but the cursor it uses the DMZ black and then for the icons and applications it uses a theme called Yaru and uh, here is the default one so you know just by a quick glance you can see that it's the typical uh, kinda darkish orange theme that uh, Ubuntu is known for uh, along with the purple and orangish type background but um and the terminal has the same theme um, but also when you maximize the window you see that the uh, panel here at the top and the dock uh, at, at the left both become black which I think is a pretty nice feature because it allows you to focus on um, the task, whatever the window is and whatnot. Uh, and if you take a look at the left here, all of my apps, basically um, I was able to install most if not all of them through the software center, um, which is the one thing that I want to talk about with this release. So. Basically, the software center, it works fine for the most part, but right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, click back so that I can uh, go to all of the programs available to download, but I can't. So this is uh, probably the biggest issue that I've been um, experiencing with this latest version. Uh, and keep in mind, this is also not uh, long-term support so if you want that uh, if you would rather long-term support I suggest you stick to 18.04 um, but essentially the the main issue that I've been experiencing is um, when I after I install something from the software center if I exit out of it and I try to go back I can't like I can't really navigate through the programs I'm stuck at the page where it shows the program that I installed um, you know the latest program that I've installed and I've tried logging out logging back in that sometimes fixes the problem um, but sometimes it doesn't sometimes when I log out and log back in uh, what it shows is a, like an A type icon here or whatever uh, like a logo of some sort and it says loading catalog and basically I wait for it to load up and it doesn't want to load up 
you know no matter how many times i close it and reopen it it just doesn't seem to really do much um, but apart from that uh, installation of the actual software is fine uh, it works just how you would expect um, everything is nice and you know so far i personally would say that i am impressed with the performance um, everything has just been smooth and snappy uh, especially considering the hardware that it's running on uh, and in comparison to 18.04 which i tried out a while back uh, this is definitely uh, a lot smoother and faster uh, experience in my opinion um, and so if we were to take a look at the system monitor real quick we can see how much RAM is being con uh, consumed. So as you can see right now, of course I'm recording so that kind of takes up more RAM, but it's using 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, and what can I say? Uh, that's just how GNOME is. You can't really, you know, get angry at it. Um, it's just, that's just the way it is. Um, but it, it's interesting because even though it's using so much RAM, uh, it feels fast, you know, it feels fast and it works just fine. Um, and again, like I said, the main bug uh, or issue uh, that I have experienced so far is with the software center. Um, and maybe another thing that I can say is that... Um, even though it's fast and, and tends to be responsive, sometimes when I try to open certain applications, it takes a while for them to open up. Uh, and, you know, which is kind of, kind of weird because, like I said, it doesn't really seem to uh, really take up much, uh, much of a toll on my system. It's still sometimes... Um, makes make certain programs like unresponsive um but apart from that the system as a whole has been stable everything worked out of the box just fine uh like i said the installation was pretty fast um and once it was installed every, everything was um was good and ready to go um and also actually one more thing that i, I would say that is bug is i try to update my system which i can't show it right now because again this bug occurred again um but essentially when i go to the software center and when i go to the uh, um updates category and i try to update my system like i click the button to restart the system and install the updates i've done that it doesn't do anything so that's also another issue and yeah, I, I would definitely say that um, the issues, at least based on what I've experienced so far, uh, they mainly lie within the software center. But apart from that, everything else seems fast and stable, uh, and it really did surprise me, I must say. Um, but yeah, it, is it worth installing over 18.04? Uh, honestly, probably not. Uh, if you already have 18.04, there's really no reason to install 18.10 because, you know, you already have something that's more stable and reliable and um, it's also long-term support. Whereas this just came out and still has some bugs uh, and uh, it's not long-term support. So you're going to have to update your system every couple months. But, um still despite that i think that it was definitely worth trying out on my system uh and i think that i'm probably going to stick with it for a while um and i, I personally am glad that i decided to choose this uh over 18.04 but uh yeah that's basically just a quick look at ubuntu 18.10 and what it's like to actually have it installed on your system so if you have any questions, just write it down in the comments. I'll try to help you if I can. Uh, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching.